knowledge adventure. Have fun. Get smart. Save the patient. It's up to you. Doctor, we just received four new admissions and they are all in serious condition. To interview a patient, get more information, or start a procedure, just click on the appropriate console. Click to start. The front entrance to the hospital is locked after hours. If you want to enter at this time of the night, you will need to go around back to the rear entrance. Coronary artery disease. Atherosclerosis is a disease which results in narrowed arteries and decreased blood flow. The arteries become narrowed because of a buildup of plaques within their inner walls. This illustration shows a yellow plaque within the inner layer of an artery. Plaques consist of a mixture of substances including cholesterol, fat, fibrous tissue, clumps of platelets, and sometimes calcium. Atherosclerosis begins early in life but generally causes no symptoms until middle or old age. Only after an artery becomes very narrowed will blood flow be diminished enough to cause symptoms. When atherosclerosis affects the coronary arteries, it is called coronary artery disease. Patients with coronary artery disease experience chest pain when the blood supply to the heart is inadequate to meet the demand for oxygen. This pain is called angina. Coronary artery disease is a very common ailment with characteristic symptoms. Angina typically occurs after a predictable amount of exercise, for example walking up one flight of stairs, and is relieved by rest. Medication is available that relieves the pain by briefly dilating the coronary arteries, but this has no effect on the underlying disease. Patients with angina are at high risk for having a heart attack 
if their coronary artery disease is not treated. Heart attack. People with coronary artery disease are at high risk for having a heart attack. A heart attack occurs when the blood supply to a part of the heart is suddenly cut off and the affected heart muscle dies. The usual cause of a heart attack is the formation of a blood clot at the site of an atherosclerotic plaque. The clot completely blocks the artery, cutting off blood flow beyond it. The medical term for a heart attack is myocardial infarction. A heart attack causes changes in the normal pattern of the EKG tracing, as shown in the illustration at left. Heart attacks are the number one cause of death in Western societies. The risk factors for having a heart attack are well known. These risk factors include a diet high in fat and cholesterol, smoking, obesity, inactivity, high blood pressure, diabetes, and a family history of heart attacks. Fortunately, most of these risk factors are related to lifestyle. It is thus possible for a person to lower their risk of a heart attack if they choose to. Coronary Angiography It is often desirable to study the coronary arteries of patients with coronary artery disease. Many different tests have been devised to do this. At present, the definitive test for evaluating the coronary arteries is angiography. Coronary angiography is an invasive test that requires placing a catheter in the coronary arteries. Dye is then injected and detailed pictures of the coronary arteries are obtained. This test enables doctors to determine the exact location and severity of the plaques within the coronary arteries. The photograph at left shows a doctor performing a coronary angiogram. Several new forms of treatment for coronary artery disease have emerged in recent years. The most well accepted is coronary angioplasty. Coronary angioplasty involves positioning a small balloon catheter in a coronary artery such that the balloon crosses a plaque. The balloon is then inflated to compress the fatty plaque and make it smaller. When the balloon is deflated, the plaque usually remains compressed. This increases the size of the arterial lumen, central opening, and improves blood flow to the heart. The heart. Although the heart is constantly pumping blood, it does not actually receive any oxygen from the blood which travels through its chambers. Instead, the heart receives all of its oxygen from the arteries which encircle it. These blood vessels are known as the coronary arteries. This illustration shows the heart and the coronary arteries. Under normal circumstances, the coronary arteries have significant reserve capacity and they can easily meet the oxygen demands of the heart muscle. Problems with supplying the heart muscle with oxygen arise only when the coronary arteries become narrowed due to atherosclerosis. <laughs> 